we need to be building our youtube channel to be strong and have good videos so far i promise i'll bring you good videos you know because before i was using not good cameras so now i change the cameras which i just came with a good cameras and uh guys today i'm showing you the kipling here and uh, i want i would like to show you only famous areas in etobicoke for example like kipling here uh dixon i will go dixon one time and show you who's dixon where is, where is the dixon who live in the dixon and uh also i will show you guys Jenon finch Jenon finch also is the famous place and um some people they used to live there you know in, in that times i'm talking about the people from east africa from jamaica those areas you know so and also i will show you guys another a uh, historical place, famous place like uh, uh, Una, stuff like that. Guys, again, I am on this building 2707 Kipling. Also, this place, there are some kids are born in here. And uh, yes, I used to live in this place, guys. Let's go close to. Uh, it's winding too strong here. I feel like you're in the beach. I used to live on this building, guys. Uh, 27 and 7. I'm talking about last 18 years, 18 years, 19 years. And uh, I was, I used to live over there on the second floor, where the can is. Uh, third floor, actually, third floor, where the can is. That's where I used to live. The last window over there was my room. Uh, and one time, a, a bad guy. Uh, a thief came to my house uh, it was in the uh, afternoon time break the door and he enter and he steal my wallet and jump run away from the front front door it was locked because he break the lock and he jumped to this uh to this uh balcony here that's a uh, that's a big history i can't forget it uh, in my life in kipling yeah so that was what kipling was talking about before and then he jumped from there to here, from here, from third floor, guys. Not one or second or third one. He jumped all the way to the balcony, ran from here all the way to this area. In that time, in that moment, actually, I was scared of him for sure because I didn't know what he has. I was believing he maybe have a gun. But the good thing is, the guy he was scared of me too. So he break the door. What a uh, good thing I did, I called police. But before I called police, when he saw me, I was shouting, pretending to call my friend while I know I was only one person in the room, in the house. But then he ran away. Later on, I found out, oh, this guy is stealing my, my, my wallet. And uh, yeah, so when the police came, so far I didn't find anything. Uh, they couldn't do anything. I end up with uh, looking for the new, looking for the new uh, document. I apply for the new document. I just apply my, my document from there. Then I start to uh, apply everything. I get my stuff back. And uh, but in the process of apply, it was uh, difficult to me through all for uh, negotiation system. But lucky, lucky, I able to get everything, <coughs> not the one installing. So that's the history to uh, to me on this uh, 2737 Kipling. This building now looks so nice, a very well maintenance. As you can see, guys, the big companies, uh, companies here just to maintain the building, which is congratulations to the management. They did a good job uh, to see the management take care about the people who are living in the houses you know some of the buildings they still look same and that's also have a management too so probably maybe one time they will figure out they will see the difference they will see how others doing here so probably they will do the same thing i have some of my friends too they used to live here when i say we able to open a soccer team you know soccer team is not just three four people like it was a full team that means there was a group of young guys are uh, living in this area living on this area 
and uh, even some of them out of this area but most of us we used to live on the same location here now yeah guys you can see be a witness of this construction here Kipling uh, this is 2757 they are building now you see they are doing renovating renovation of this house they are smart things they didn't change the balcon like others I told you the one who was living with uh, uh, Iraqis but here they're just painting they're painting they're painting the building whole building look like a new one and uh, uh, continue doing some renovation yeah so you can see the difference now so guys uh, again I would like to welcome you guys welcome again to THABIT welcome to my youtube channel and look at the guard here look at this guard look at the bike line you know the government did something here the government did something uh, renovating the road the road was big, they make it small. That's, I don't know. But here they make a uh, bike line very beautiful. Put guard on the corner, pedestal areas where you can walk. You see down there, guys? Down there, there is a big uh, park. There is a big park over there. Even you can walk through here. Uh, it's taking you all the way to Islington. That's a big park, summertime, the big vibe. Sometimes uh, people from this village just go over there for walking, uh, bike, uh, b riding bikes, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, like uh, barbecue. It is a big park. Some people they play music, things like that. But only in the summertime, not this type of weather. Uh, as you can see, guys, I have uh, how many clothes with me, including jacket, but I forget my gloves, and my my hands are freezing. On your hand, the freezing look like a uh, red because it's cold. They've been uh, heating with the cold. Maybe when I go to go back to my to my to my car, I need to uh, take a bus. Cold. It is cold. <coughs> and this building, guys, this is the this is this is everything. This is the building. It's everything. This it has a, a history, a big history. A big history everybody know everybody you watch this video you know where you used to live where where your dad used to live but many many people are uh, some of them now in the Catherine Catherine some of them they are in Calgary some of them they are in uh, uh, Edmonton some of them in the BC some of them live in downtown Toronto some of them they are still around in this neighborhood but so far there's no one left in here this is a building 27 77 are uh, most of uh, Tanzanian people, Zanzibaris people, East African people, Jamaican live in this building. And before it was a worst, worst, worst. You get, you just can't go there. You, if you're coming down to the lobby, oh, you see a gang, a group of guys sit down in here. You know, the group of guys sit down here and uh, just sit down there and talking even security you cannot do anything to them uh, one time i remember there's the very tragedies happening here the construction guys fall down all the way up there to down and they die i don't want to mention about that i just i just remember things happen my friends here some of them that are not longer here in canada so yeah our sister live in this area here, you know, they know who are they. I don't want to mention someone's name. Uh, guys, this is the place you used to come here and see some group of people. You never ever see a sea like this, you know. Now automatical doors open before water like that. This is the building you came here, no buzzer. You know, door is locked always, but now they clean. Uh, big difference. Before it wasn't like that guy. Now things are changed. Everybody knows this building so far. Let's go. I'm not living here. I just came to give you the history, a little history. Now let's go back to the history of the our soccer team. List of our soccer team. <clears throat> While I was living downtown, when I moved to West here, I see this soccer team. It was already started, uh, and uh, I joined with the team. But 
I want to show you the place where you, you, we used to play. We used to play uh, soccer in that time. I want to show you guys you are Taifa United. Uh, there is a history. If uh, I meet the guy today who, who really one of the uh, the guys who we call him coach who started building this team and it, uh, uh, training them, uh, coaching them, you know, uh, lead them up to the leagues, you know, as a coach, you know. So I meet them, but one day we'll give you the history or uh, exactly history of this team but not just the history guys again if anyone's here anyone you hear about the madrasa uh tutoring islamic tutoring uh madrasa in uh, ediston is starting from this building here this is where the madrasa start congratulations you guys are starting the madrasa uh until now it's becoming a big madrasa uh thanks to you guys you, you guys did a good job. Uh, God will repay you, reward you for what you did, for what you think. You know, always think good for the kids. Now there are so many kids went through of that madrasa, reading, to know the life in here and life after. And of course they benefited from it. So congratulations you guys. Now, guys, now <coughs> this is the where we start a soccer team. Taifa United is starting from here. You guys, you guys listen to me careful because you guys have uh, those players who play with the Taifa now. You know, some of them represent like a lead, a leaders, fake leaders, you know, argue with a stupid idea sometimes. You know, you tell them A, B, C, D, no, 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 no. Some people they start to be argue each other. They don't know the history. You know, they don't respect the who, who starting the team. Today, I bring you guys here. Here, here. This place where we used to play here. Right here. We put our temporary goals and we play. And we play that. I'm talking about 20 years, bro. You know, imagine 20 years, I was like, how old? And we work, we donate for the team. We buy jazz, you know, and we play here. And later on we moved to Panorama to the soft big field. But before we used to play here. It was a garden like you see now. But no building as you see. Over there was a little bit kind of uh, trees like that. You know, his area. So they're building it. This is a, a probably maybe the uh, government properties. So they're building it. And uh, today you can see is the garden, playground. Kids are playing. That field is still there. That field, it was there. Exactly there. That one. Yeah. And the fence. Exactly. This area here, it was a little rough area. As you can see, now they're building it. It looks so nice now. You know? How are you, brother? Hello. How are you doing? Uh, how are you doing? Uh, you live in this area? Yeah. Sure. Uh, how long now? Guys, I see my brother here. Uh, uh, he's a new, he's a former, he, uh, he, he lives in this area, probably he just see as he is, he doesn't really know the history of here. Uh, brother, I just come to make a video here today uh, regarding of the history of this area. I've been, li I've been living here last, year, uh, last year 17 years, you know, so with our Swahili community mm. and we used to play soccer in here. After that we moved to the other area over there, so I just oh. came to make some video and remember people uh, the history of this place so what's your name rajeshan rajeshan yeah. oh you from bangladesh yeah. sri lanka oh rajeshan from sri lanka guys i, I meet the brother here from sri lanka and uh, yeah guys so kindly guys don't forget uh can go here and get support yeah okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, So guys, I just see brother here from uh from uh, uh I think Bangladesh and uh, he's here just chilling cold outside, he's four months in here, probably feeling cold. Uh now uh you see the guys 
a big change in here, playground, they make a playground here. I'll come with my kids sometime and play here. It's called a new place, you know. Guys, welcome. Welcome again. Welcome to my channel, T H A B I T Thabit R T. Let's go a little walk up to uh, still. So we're going to end, uh, I'm going to end my video over there on still um, and go back to uh, other place where I park my car. This is our convenience stores, uh, bank, TD Bankies. Many things happened in TD Banky before now, it's peaceful. Right there, you know, there's a big barber shop here, a saloon with, uh, I, f I forget the guy's name, Stevie, stuff like that. He's very good barbers. He's cutting uh, hair very good right there. That's where we used to do a uh, small shopping. And you know, because here, guys, uh, the shopping center a little out from here, far from here. You remember where I start the video? They are making no frills over there now. They're building no frills. But before, there was a, there was a store. I think uh, uh, they call it PC. Price, price, uh, I forget it. The name, the exactly name. I remember that. But now there's a no frills, a big one. So the shopping center is a little bit out from here, but not really far. But it's hard to walk in the winter time. Oh, this condo building are still here. This building for the expensive, actually, I say, I say for the high qualities. For the new immigrant to come and live in here, a little bit difficult. Uh, and most of people are buying this house. So, uh, this building, from uh, they're here from a long time. I really remember them here a long, long time. So, guys, this is uh, Kipling and Finchy up to Kipling and Steel. And I'm going to go up there to Steel. You can see the renovation here, guys. The, I know some people they don't they never be witness of this, you know. So now you see the difference of Kipling and uh, 